Well, welcome everyone. Glad you are here. It is time to close out our work day, although the uh, the worship and ministry of the church continues on. It has been an incredibly fruitful time. Um, St. Peter's has been able to provide quite literally more than enough to those around us who are in need, and we are very thankful for that. So thank you for being here with us. We are honored to have you here. If you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications, and you will get notices of when we're posting content, which is pretty much almost every day except Friday. If you are watching on Facebook, we're glad you're here. Please do include your intercessions in the live chat. And of course, follow us and you'll get notifications of both when we are live broadcasting and also when we post content, which at about the same time we're posting content on YouTube, we're also copying that up to Facebook, LinkedIn, Tumblr, we're blogging it, we're putting it, I mean, it's going out. So let's celebrate the reality of the word going forth from this place and touching all the corners of my limited scope of the internet. Uh, we are ready for evening prayer. Allison, Jacqueline, Bill, Jesse, and I forgot the little dog's name again. Help me out. I keep forgetting. What's 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 the Chihuahua's name? Timmy. Timmy and Monty. So we have we have we have pets galore joining we us. Here we go. All no right. sign of Don or Churchill. So, you know, I think they're agnostic. Perhaps, yeah. We have to have that conversation, Bill. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because God is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me for the invitatory in unison. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 77 and 79. I'll offer the odd verses. Please respond with the even. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God that God may hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, my hand is stretched <laughs> out without <laughs> wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. comforted. <clears throat> I think of God and I moan. I meditate and my spirit faints. You keep my you keep eyelids, my eyelids from, closing. from closing. I am so troubled, I'm so troubled that, that I, I cannot, cannot speak. speak. I consider the days of old and remember the years of long ago. I commune, I commune with my with heart, my in, heart the in the night. I meditate, meditate in my, my, spirit. my spirit. Will the Lord spurn forever and never again be <clears throat> favorable? As a steadfast love, steadfast love, love ceased forever, forever. His promises, his promises at an end for all, for all time. time. Has God forgotten to be gracious? <clears throat> Has God in anger shut up God's compassion? And I say, this is my grief. My grief. The right hand, the right hand of the Lord most high has changed. I will call to mind the deeds of the Lord. I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate, I will meditate on, on all your work, you, on and your you, mighty and your deeds. deeds. <clears throat> your way, O oh God, is holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God, are the who, God who works wonders. You have displayed your displayed might, your among, might the among the peoples. <laughs> With your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. 
when the water saw you, O oh God, oh God, when the water, when the water saw, saw you, they were afraid. Very, and very deep, deep trembled. The clouds <clears throat> poured out water. The skies thundered. Your arrows flashed on every side. The crash of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your light lightning lit, lit up the world. The, world. the earth trembled, the earth trembled and shook. shook. Your way was through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people <laughs> like, a flock, like a flock by the hand of, the Moses, hand of Moses and Aaron. O oh God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the bodies, given the bodies of, your of, servants, of your servants, the birds of the, the air for, for food. Oh, sorry. <laughs> flesh of your faithful to, your the, faithful wild to the wild animals of the earth. earth. <laughs> they had poured out their blood like water all around Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. We have become a taunt, a taunt to, to our neighbors, and derided, and derided, by derided by those, those around us. How, How long, long, Lord, will you be angry forever? Will your jealous wrath burn like fire? Pour out your, Pour out your anger on the nations that do not know do you, not know and you. On, the kingdom, on the kingdoms that do not call, do not on call your, name. your name. For they have devoured mm. Jacob and laid waste his habitation. Do not remember, do not remember against, against the us the iniquities of our ancestors. ancestors. Let, your Let your compassion come speedily to meet us, to meet us. For, we for we are brought very low. low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nation, should the nation say, say where, where is their God? Is their God? Let, the Let the avenging of the outpoured blood, blood of your servants be known be among, the among the nations before, before our, our eyes. eyes. Let the groans of the prisoners come before you according to your great power. Preserve those doomed to die. We turn sevenfold, we turn sevenfold to, the to the bosom of, of our of neighbors. neighbors. The taunts with taunts which they taunted, they taunted you, you, O Lord. Lord. Then we, your people, the flock of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. From generation to generation, we will recount your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. Already you have all you want. Already you have become rich. Quite apart from us, you have become kings. Indeed, I wish that you had become kings so that we might be kings with you. For I think that God has exhibited us apostles as last of all, as though sentenced to death, because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to mortals. We are fools for the sake of Christ, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To the present hour, we are hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clothed and beaten and homeless. We grow weary from the work of our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we speak kindly. We have become like the rubbish of the world, the dregs of all things to this very day. I'm not writing this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you might have 10,000 guardians <laughs> in Christ, you do not have many fathers. Indeed, in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. I appeal to you then by the imitators of me. For this reason, I sent you Timothy, who is my beloved and faithful child in the Lord, to remind you of my ways in Christ Jesus, as I teach them everywhere in every church. But some of you thinking that I am not coming to you have become arrogant, but I will come to you soon, if the Lord wills, and I will find out. Not the talk of those arrogant people, but their power. For the kingdom of God depends not on talk, but on power. What would you prefer? Am I to come to you with a stick or with love and spirit of gentleness? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our first canticle this evening, Song of Judith, together. I will sing a new song to my God, for you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke, and all things came into being. You sent your breath, and it formed them. No one is able to resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who fear you, you continue to show mercy. No sacrifice, however fragrant, can please you. 
but whoever fears the Lord shall stand in your sight forever. A reading from Luke. Since many have undertaken to set down an orderly account of the events that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed on to us by those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and servants of the word, I too decided, after investigating everything carefully from the very first, to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the truth concerning the things about which you have been instructed. In the 15th year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea and Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip ruler of the region of Iteria and Trachonitis, and Lysantius ruler of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of the Lord came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went to all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough ways made smooth and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. John said to the crowds that came out to be baptized by him, you brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the crowds asked him, what then should we do? In reply, he said to them, whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they asked him, teacher, what should we do? He said to them, collect no more than the amount prescribed for you. Soldiers also asked him, and we, what should we do? He said to them, do not extort money from anyone by threats or false accusation and be satisfied with your wages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, a song of Christ's humanity in unison. Though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. 
Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can in we you live can in we safety. Live safety. <clears throat> Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us, guide in, us in the way of justice and truth. truth. Let your way be known upon earth. You're saving health, saving among, health all among all nations. nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope, nor of, the the hope of the be poor be taken away. away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with, sustain your, us Holy with your Holy Spirit. Spirit. Grant us, Lord, not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, while we are placed among the things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that shall endure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgment, and all just works, give us, your servants, the peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth worship you. All nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love and serve you in peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I have your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for James as he recovers from surgery and for his family, for Joseph as he continues to recover strength and as he and Martine prepare for their wedding next month. We pray for Joseph as well, his wife, Brenda, as they, he continues to recover. We pray for Ethel, who is recovering from hip surgery. And we give thanks for the gift of a rain shower, even if it was only brief. And finally, we give thanks for the life of Elizabeth, queen, who passed away and is now laid to rest in among her ancestors, may her descendants bring honor to her name. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we your unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Well, folks, I bid you peace and grace, and uh, may this eventide bring you rest. We will rise refreshed in the morning and engage in another day of mission and ministry at St. Peter's. That, of course, will begin with morning prayer and then move off into Alice's Cup and the shop at St. Peter's being open. 
Look forward to seeing you. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Join us in our walk in Christ, and we are happy to welcome you home to St. Peter's. Jacqueline, Allison, Bill, Jesse, Timmy, Monty, we will see you all tomorrow. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>